Hello, my name is Alan Cho. <coughs> I'm from 14.7. <coughs> this is a video for the NOS 7S wideband controller. Uh, the NOS 7S wideband controller is basically the same as the. Uh, it's very similar to the NOS OEM wideband controller that I currently sell for $50. Um, the only difference is that the uh, 7S has a um, USB so that you can uh, set the display the AFR conversion. Um, trigger fear calibration and also set the uh, linear and linear output and the simulated narrowband output and it also drives a uh, directly drives a seven segment display okay um, this is kind of what the finished unit will sort of look like it'll go into a case like this mm, something like that and uh, the unit is very small. It's the smallest wideband controller with communications. So, um, if an all OEM wasn't around, then this would be bar none the smallest wideband controller. And the the target price for the wideband controller itself is seventy five dollars, and uh, it'll come fully assembled uh, with a machine case. And uh, for the display, it'll be a DIY kit probably around ten to fifteen dollars okay and um, the display will connect to the wideband controller via ribbon cable and over here I have it I have a unit set up and I can just show you quickly its function um, I'm going to give the sensor some gas, some rich gas Do it again. There you have it. The display itself is uh, based on my open source uh, wideband display, and um, you can make modifications to it. For instance, um, if you run a run a smaller display. You can uh, modify it to run a smaller display, or um, if space is tight, you can actually run wires to it, to the LED, and basically put like an LED like this anywhere in your car for a nice clean look. So, all right, um, that's it. Thank you very much. Bye bye.